Pick. Are you able to do, uh, <laughs> I think for this one, we probably ought to start out doing like an NA GG review. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Let me yeah. uh, hit, hit me up with your OP GG. Okay, one sec. Yeah, it's it's pretty rough, man. <laughs> it is okay, man. I've seen it all. I've seen <laughs> it all, so don't worry. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, let me, uh, let me do my screen share and all that. Uh, okay. Certified to rip. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> What's going on here, boys? <laughs> oh no. Wait, do you yeah, try to play so, support? Uh. Well. All right. So. No. Uh, so. In support. Uh. I. I went from like I was like I was like hard stuck at gold four. Um. And then I just started like playing support and i'm like wow like i guess i just have really good game knowledge and i climbed all the way to diamond five diamond four promos um and then i just started playing and i just felt like there was maybe three to five games where uh i just got really really unlucky like i mean tragically unlucky with just like afks and stuff like that totally out of oh, my control no. And then once I lost like five or six in a row, I just, I was mentally, I was tilted and then I tanked <laughs> and then I tanked. So here I am. I see. I see. Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah. You know what's interesting is that uh, I uh, messed up my screen share for a sec. Okay. Well, oh, okay. Uh, it seems that, you know, maybe we're on some kind of um, tilt, I guess, is one way to describe it a slump i guess because like yeah um that's a lot that's a lot of losses <laughs> but uh oh shit so you were diving well five, yeah I and, see. yeah yeah that's pretty good dude you were uh dude what is this you went from gold to diamond in like a season that's insane <laughs> thanks that's man i mean i have a lot of games played so so it's clear that you know you you play a lot of bot lane stuff so now now it's kind of about um I guess putting it all together in a way that you can consistently produce results. I guess, right? Um, yeah. You played. You played both AD carry and support, so uh, you kind of know. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. I I do play both. Um, part of this coaching, like I feel like I kind of just felt like I'm out of control in support. I want to be. I kind of want to do more AD because I feel like in some sense you have more control over oh, no. the game. Would okay. you agree with that? Would no, you agree no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, do. Okay. I think support is fucking busted, yo. Really? Um, okay. It's just, uh, like, you play this champion, level 3, you combo, and they die, even if they have flash and heal, right? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> have you killed someone with that before? Cause, True. Yeah, so, I don't know. It's pretty insane. And then, you know, after okay. your first base, you're just like, oh, roll mid, kill that guy too. And it's like, wait a minute. Uh, champion <laughs> is, you know, I think the role is extremely strong right now i okay. think the carry is probably okay. the weakest role um but that's just my personal opinion so um okay. but hey uh learning both roles is actually super important because um whether or not you know ad carry is weak or strong or support is weak or strong if you can learn how the dynamic of bot works with the rest of your team you can win bot and you can win like mid game late game you know other lands all that kind of stuff so um it's good to know even if the role is strong weak or whatever right so okay. Knowing the ideas and the fundamental behind it is always is always really good. Like seeing something like this, you're like a step ahead from pretty much everyone else. Like some people will only play support and some people will only play AD carry, right? Okay. Um so having experience in both is actually really beneficial beneficial in my opinion, right? Um Okay, so, yeah. sweet. Okay. That's good. So That's good. okay, I have two quick questions. Yeah, two yeah. Two quick yeah. questions before we start. Um one, this is gonna be like uploaded to like YouTube and stuff. So I can. It doesn't have to be. But yeah, 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 yeah. Or, we can totally. We can totally. No, we can totally I, no, I. YouTube. Yeah, no, I'd prefer just so that way because, like, yeah, like just the way I can rewatch it and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, um. Sense. Okay, and the second thing is, um, uh, you, if if you could, could you maybe guide this coaching, uh, session? Okay, my goal for league is probably not, um, the ordinary, like the typical goal. Like I, um. I actually, it's my dream. I really want to go professional in league. And um, I, like, I know I'm not where I need to be right now. And, you know, I've definitely tilted and stuff. But, like, I, I have such, like, a, a work effort, uh, work ethic uh, and determination to, like, go pro. And, um, you know, I I think that I have what it takes. So um, I'm kind of looking for 
in my coaching, I'm kind of looking for like, like the long stretch, like the long run. What can I do that's going to help? me over the next thousand games that's going to to get me to make sense you know what i'm saying of course of course like, i As mean opposed to like yeah so yeah i mean usually my coaching is always about um can you think for yourself slash how can we build good habits that are always going to be good now and forever right so yeah, that's definitely okay. along the lines of what you're talking about in my opinion Perfect. instead of just like this oh this quick tip this only yeah yeah, yeah. this is okay. like uh not really useful in the long run right so yeah 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 um, for sure okay Sounds so yeah, I'll uh, definitely keep that in mind in in terms of you know long term improvement, right? Yeah. So I guess you know let's let's head over to the replays then and see um see what's going on in these games. What do you think? Sounds good. Sounds good. So it's uh so have you actually been to the League of Graphs website yet? Oh, you sent it to me, and that was like the only time. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. So just like head to League of Graphs. It's real simple. It only takes a couple minutes. Let's see this. Do, 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 do. I guess they just paste your name in here. Right. Yep. Uh, let us see. All right, it, and then we're or... gonna look the. Oh. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the thirteen and thirteen one. Yeah, the bottom one. Okay. Uh, so this is the first one, and then. Yeah. I guess. You just click download like, and run. Um, all right. Let me see if I can. Let's see if we can get this going. Hopefully it'll work. Is it all from this patch? Because I think that's like relevant. I think it like doesn't work if it's not from this patch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. It, I played this game like two two days ago, one day ago, I think. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. So you can see my screen still, right? It's still good. Yep. Still good. Yep. Okay. Nice. Yep, um. So good. I guess. Uh. Interesting names we got going on here. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> interesting. Oh. Okay. Um. So, uh, in terms of what you think you need to work on um, slash what you're good at, you know, it's always really important to identify your perceived strengths and weaknesses, right? So, mm -hmm. um, tell me, what, what do you think you're, you're good at and not so good at slash what, what do you think you need to improve on? Uh, well, without a doubt, it's definitely my mid to late game. Um, I, I found that in, in my experience in like recent, like plat two to diamond five, like I can pretty much dominate my lane every time, but like, it doesn't matter how good I do. We could be eight zero, uh, that like 20 minutes, but, um, I always find some way of losing the game to mid to late. So I do pretty good laning, but it's just after that, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see. I see. So laning seems to be okay. But then after that, it's like not, not, not yeah. as. Yeah, my macro, like my team fighting, like it's it's something to do after that. I just lose the games. Okay, okay. Oh, kind of fast forward on speed. Uh, unless I see okay. anything kind of blatant in the laning phase, I won't. It won't really pause, I guess, just to okay. see if uh, you know, we can get to the points you 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 described. So. Okay. Wow, this is like really loud. Okay, that should be better. Whew. All right. <laughs> you have any questions, by the way, or we're just watching this? Any comments? Uh, so, uh, not really. Uh, I did have one question about the laning phase in general that I do think I need help on, and that is, what do you do against a uh, an like uh, a composition where uh, the enemy duo bot lane is like heavy, heavy poke, uh, and you're just like. Like for example, it was Kite. This is a different game, but it was um, it was Kaisa Pike, which is my lane versus um, Sona, and uh, Caitlyn. And like, I just felt completely defenseless. And I'm like, what could I even do that would that would be the right strategy? You know, the right. Well, approach. in terms of uh, <laughs> in terms of the, have you seen my other coaching videos by any chance? A little bit, yeah. But do I, I yeah. do I ever, yeah. ever talk? Do I ever talk about like matchups or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, so, sure. in terms of matchups, you know, it would be something like if you're doing anything that includes trading, then we're doing something wrong, right? Um, if it's not like, if we're not letting Pike catch someone or maybe try and find a stun, then every time you get hit, we would, we would consider a mistake, pretty much, right? Um, oh my god, you, you almost died there. Woo! Um, <laughs> but that's the, the general idea is that, you know, any it, that's kind of where you first have to look at, you know, oh... Wait, you're gonna kill this guy. Oh. Uh, I oh, thought he was like gonna. This. I thought he was gonna goof the Q there, but I guess it like locks on. 
whatever. I could have flashed, but I thought he was going to miss, so I didn't. So, hold on, we can talk about this, but in, in, yeah. uh, to answer your, your, your question, um, say you have uh, Sonar and Kaelin, right? Uh, yeah. They're going to push you in, they're going to try and trade with you as hard as yeah. possible, and you don't take any trades. So you're full HP, level 3 comes around, what happens? Uh, well, in that instance, I just kept farming, so... Right, and then, you know, generally, you know, if your support has some kind of idea what he's doing, the instant they see, you guys see the enemy jungler, he just E flashes on Sonya, you guys get a kill, right? Is the idea. Um, so, if you guys took enough damage so that you couldn't do that at level 3 or whatever level you needed to find an all-in, that was the mistake, right? Oh, okay. Um, in terms uh, of how do you play against these heavy poke lands and stuff, it's the first priority is don't get hit. So it doesn't matter if you get these CS. It literally doesn't matter. Like I remember I had a game where I had like like 40 CS to this dude's 80 CS and I have five kills. Like it doesn't matter. <laughs> right now the matter is just like just kill people. Like the CS only matters if you have like a lot of money on the other guy. Or um yeah, that's that's honestly about it. Like it okay. almost doesn't matter. That it's solo actually, queue. So the answer is like how to respond is by like just don't get hit and like just wait right. for another option like which right. is your jungler okay. you would prefer to not get yeah. the cs and not get hit rather than get the cs and get hit so let's talk about this one though um okay. so if i said you know why why did i say you killed him here or why did i say oh, are you gonna kill him here what do you think this picture uh probably because like my q does a lot of damage like to the solo targets isolated targets all right so there's two things that work here Right. So the first is always, can you kill this guy? So yeah, uh, can you can you kill this guy? Yeah. Right. How do you do uh, it specifically after he flashes over? Uh, dodges Q and then press Q. No, auto. No, don't don't worry about like dodging or it's just like your damage to him. We're, we're gonna don't worry about anything. Don't worry about you getting hit or anything like that. Okay, just Q W probably. All right, you just Q auto attack W and he's dead. Right. Yeah. And then the second part is, how do you prevent him from killing you? So how do you prevent him? How do you prevent uh, him from killing me? Well, him? then I, at that point, I ha well, to prevent him from killing me, I'd have to uh, dodge his, his Q. Okay, so how do you do that? Um, Flash it. Okay, I would say flash is a decent option. It's probably your 100% win rate option. What, what is the other option? Oh, yeah, I could probably just E it. Uh, so. You can't actually. I would say that using your E to, to dodge it, you know, can you do that 90 times out of 100? We're, we're looking for a play that always works, essentially. So if you can, I mean, oh. if you can press E to dodge it, oh, that would be pretty could, sick. I could, but... just, uh, I could just heal, actually. I right, you can just face tank up. it, right? I think <laughs> I think your heal yeah. can, you're not going to die if you use heal, right? So yeah. uh, that's kind of how I know from the get-go that you can kill this guy, that you can kill him, right? You identified a way to kill him, and you identify a way to stop him from killing you. So it's like a, it's like a, a, a simple puzzle, if that makes any sense, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Tic-tac-toe, right? Oh, this yeah. is like three in a row, and then I also block you from getting three in a row. Some shit. I don't know. This is kind of a bad analogy, but um, yeah. you know what I mean, right? Yeah. You have exactly. a way to kill him, and he has no way to kill you, essentially. So that's how you know. I don't. I don't know what happened here, but um, it seems kind of strange that we died to a gank, right? Like, uh, I get like you said, you thought you could. He was just gonna miss, right? But um, you know, you're playing Nocturne, and you're gonna throw the Q. Would you miss this? This is pretty. This is pretty. This is pretty hard to miss. I think, right? Yeah, you're right. Anytime there's a skill shot, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, you want to be able to find a way to force a miss, right? So we, when we say force a miss, you have some kind of way to say, oh, uh, he's gonna miss no matter what, or with a high degree of certainty. So let's say you didn't have flash or heal. How do you dodge this? I would do something like turn up and then go straight down, right? So he gets tricked to throwing it up, right? But I think here we just didn't have any plan. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. Um, yeah kind of i'm not sure what's going on but maybe you were like disrespecting his ability to throw a skill shot in your direction or something you know yeah. I, don't, I don't know right which so, that, that is an issue so i don't know what's point. going on so um yeah. i think uh, it's kind of weird uh but you had a way to you had a way to guarantee a win you should always take it i think okay right if yeah. you have a way to guarantee a win you always take it essentially like mm -hmm. um even if you have to waste heal or whatever uh the fact that you guaranteed a winning play is extremely good Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really awkward, isn't it? Yeah. You guys are fucking dead. Heck, I don't know what the heck just happened. Right so what, what happened there. here? Let's talk about this. So Cosmix is coming in from the flank and the try. 
I was trying to get close to, to land my Q, but I don't know. Maybe that was the wrong move. Alright, so what, what do you think the right move is here? Um, Probably to go on Rakan at the wall. Because Brand can land his stun. Right, it's like, you, there's no real way to kill these guys here, right? It's just, uh, we were trying to help, and then we kind of walk along the wall, which I think is uh, also kind of weird, too, right? Um, you know, what, what would possess you to get condemned, I guess? Uh, I guess I wasn't thinking about that as, a, as what he could do to me. I was kind of just like tunneling on, uh, tunneling on what I can do to them. Okay, this is good, right? Because this yeah. is similar to how Nocturne killed you, right? In terms of, yeah. um, he throws his Q and then we die, right? Uh, this guy throws his condemn. There's no way this works, right? So in terms of um, part about uh, playing at a higher level is knowing what you can do, right? Which is which is clear. Like you told me, oh, you're gonna kill, you can kill this Nocturne, right? Or you're gonna try and help these guys. Uh, the second part to that is knowing what they can do to you. Right, so you have to predict what's gonna happen before it happens. Right, it's like nothing is really, nothing really surprises you if you play this many games and you and you're at this rank. Right, really, mm -hmm. nothing really surprises you. Like you see this condemn. How many times have you seen Van condemn condemn? Oh yeah, absolutely. And then how about about this wall? I've seen it a lot yeah. of times against this yep. wall. Any wall, really. Right. Same thing with Nocturne. He's gonna throw a Q. How many times have you seen Q hit people? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. nothing really surprises you. So now it's about making sure. You're actively thinking about what's gonna happen next, right? And it's not always, you know, to save your brain power because it's not really something you can always continually keep up. You do it at the important moments, so like when a fight's about to break out, when people are trying to ward, when people are trying to push, right? When these important moments happen, like uh, for me, when I see something like my jungle is coming, you start thinking of your game plan, right? You say something like, "What do we do if Brand stuns Brand stuns someone?" Your your reaction could be something like, "You're gonna flash WQ auto immediately," so then you execute. Right, but the difference between someone who can think about that and someone who plays without thinking is that by the time they realize they need a flash Q auto attack, the opportunity is already gone. It's already gone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. So they have no idea what's coming next. So here you can say something like, "Oh, if he stuns, you know, I'm running down this way. I'm gonna auto attack Q." So I don't know why we're going against the wall, but um, we actually have potential of dying here. I think. Right. If she took press the attack and then you know. I think they, and he had ignite. I don't know. It, it seems strange to walk up that way, right? Yeah, um, for sure. But honestly, the game. I don't think the gank was gonna work in the first place, so it's not really. Yeah. There's not really much you could do there. Oh, what the fuck? Round two. Let's watch this. <laughs> yeah, Diana came. Wow, uh, it's like their team doesn't exist. What's going on? Where's Galio and Nocturne? I think they're uh, based or something. Going top. One shot, baby. Seems good. Wow. So you had a good follow up there. That was good. Push this in, base. Oh. Okay, so I think that. I, yeah. I think a base here, honestly. So, like, I push. guess that kind of. That, okay. Yeah. Sorry, what were we saying? What were we saying? So, I was going to say, I guess that kind of answers one of my questions then is like, one thing I'm always thinking about is like, um, so the one common variable that every player has in a game is that, um, I mean, you if a game lasts 30 minutes, every player only has like. 30 minutes to think about what they're going to do you can't think about like everything right so i'm trying to figure out um partially in this coaching too is like okay what are the things that i need to be thinking about what are they what are the things that i need to be focusing about you know focusing on while i'm in in game and i guess that's part of the answer which is like you know i need to be thinking about uh uh like uh what my enemy can do against me what can they, what they can do what my plan is and like what they can do to stop me right that that's what you're saying i should be focusing my thoughts on right right that's part of it too right so um one of the one of the ideas behind learning uh something to get really good at it is being able to make these um mental shortcuts these like heuristics right so let's say let, let me put up an example let's say you're playing chess against the grandmaster and then you guys are playing through the opening moves you know most players know their opening moves right Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, some kind of theoretical question comes up like, oh, should I push my pawns or something like that? The Grandmaster will know immediately, is this good or not? Just like looking at it, right? Without, right. Having, to, without having to logically reason through it, 
right? Because they've done it so many times. But someone who doesn't have that experience or hasn't really um, learned that what what's good or not has to think about it and then decide if it's good or not. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. for mm-hmm. example, when I saw that game coming, I was like, "This is instantly bad." Right, because how do you know? Oh, you guys have no way to stop them from walking away. Right, uh, there's no way to guarantee brand's mm-hmm. done, so they walk away. That's how I know immediately. Right, so the kind of thing you want to to build upon in the long run is um, come up with these these patterns that you see and you say instantly <laughs> this is good or bad or whatever, and then based on what happens, you can reinforce or say you know maybe I was wrong. Right, reinforce that idea or say maybe I was wrong, and then that way you can kind of. Um, quickly come up with you know ideas of what you're supposed to do. Like, for example, this. This is an example of uh, a map awareness, right? Where you see something like this, and then you say instantly, you know, face checking is bad. Right, because right. there's like four MI right now. Right, the three of them, three, four of them are missing. They're all in this bush. That's my assumption, right? So you guys face check, you guys lose because you have no way to beat it, right? You need something like Brand has the flash. I don't know. You there's there's honestly no way to beat it because they have a con ulti, right? So um, that's how we know it from the get go, right? So stuff like this is what you want to build upon, and um, you know how do you add to that? Well, things like uh, start by predicting what they're gonna do and stuff like that, and then once you do that enough times, you'll be able to predict with some kind of degree of certainty that. They're going to throw this skill shot or they're going to do this. They're going to do that. And then once you can do that, then you'll say, oh, this fight is not going to work because we have no way to stop that. Right. Something Perfect. like that. Perfect. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's so, a great, great response. Right. Yeah. So you guys are trying to face check this bush. I, you would say something like, no way to stop Rakan. Oh, this doesn't work. Just like half a second, half a second of thinking. And then, you know, it's not Rakan, but I mean, <laughs> anyone really works here. Um, honestly, you guys should all die here, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know where, I don't know where the support is, but that's really weird, huh? Oh yeah. yeah, he's like definitely. right here. So I don't, I don't know what's going on, right? So definitely, really, really strange. Um, that's the that's the kind of I- idea, right? So it's always about building like these small habits into uh, being able to make quick decisions in, in 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 a way, right? Oh, okay, what's going on here? Hey, quick question. Should, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is cleanse like a viable uh, option in this game or for AD carries in general? Like, what do you think on that? In this uh, game, I would say probably not, right? Because, you know, what's the reasoning for cleanse in this game? What do you think? Well, because of Rakan and Galio, I think are the two biggest things. Uh, probably. I think the thing is, is like, if you get E'd by a Nocturne, you're probably dead. Um, you're probably not in the right spot. They're the same thing with Jax, but, uh, but yeah, I think Galio and Rakan are the two biggest reasons. Right, I would say that it's not good enough. Right, because here's the thing is that when you pick these, you have to have like a specific interaction you're trying to beat. So let's say you take cleanse against Ash, right? Why do you take cleanse against Ash? She throws an arrow, you you cleanse. You guys are okay, right? Yeah. That makes sense, right? So how about Rakan? Well, I've tested cleanse and I know that unless you throw a W at Rakan right before you ultis and then you cleanse and ulti perfectly, the cleanse does nothing, right? So are you ready to uh, beat that interaction, right? Uh, oh, every time okay. that's the thing every time you have to do it every time right and then the second part to that is okay now that you can you can beat him when he's coming right at you what about if he's in a random bush can you beat that and the answer is probably not right so you will need to utilize your flash at the same time in which case you know it seems like cleanse is a weak well, right yeah exactly and yeah. then the second interaction okay. would be okay. you know galio yeah. is gonna ulti taunt you okay i don't see enough instances where that happens where you need cleanse right so um, that would be my reasoning for why I probably wouldn't take cleanse in this game, right? Okay. Um, Got it. You need to you need to target specific interactions, right? Um, for something like that. So this is kind of oh my, that was a clean flash. Let's watch this again. But um, all right, let's watch what's going on here. So this ulti in is kind of. This is some clean mechanics, but um, what's going on here? Can you talk me through this? Um, yeah, all right. So, I mean, it looks like there's we, we're grouped up and we're diving. Uh, I don't know how I drew Tower Aggro. I think I thought Diana was going to take Tower Aggro there. Um, but honestly, the whole thing was just not a good idea because they have too much global pressure. So... I don't know, it was just, yeah, I thought Diana was going to take the tower aggro, but then once I took the aggro, I'm like, alright, well, I might as well soak as much attention as I can before I flash. 
Is there any way we could have played this better, I guess? Yeah, uh, probably... Maybe I didn't have to ulti and I could have just AA'd from, like... Uh... Yeah, I could have just auto attacked from, like, right there. Right, and that's perfect, right? Because I agree 100%. So how do yeah. you how do you know that from the uh, from the get go? What's because the habit? What's the like thinking heuristic yeah. that will tell you you shouldn't ulti here? Because uh, Galio can come. He can ulti okay. in. Okay, I think that's one of them. I would also yeah. say I would also argue that even if he's not here, is not a good ulti. Would that um, say, would me be saying that surprising? If Gal like. Like, you're saying if Galio wasn't here, you're saying. Sorry, Sega, I think we cut out. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Right, right, right. I can hear Check. you now. Okay. You're saying. So you're saying if Galio. Like, if Galio was top, you're saying you still wouldn't have ulted right there? Right. I still would not have ulted. Really? Right. Well, so what, what, what did your. What did your ult kind of do? Well. In this instance, it kind of messed everything up because, like, I took tower aggro. Right, but, but it, it took me away from uh, where Kha'Zix was. Wait, but why does that matter? Well, because like, because right now, Diana doesn't have to die. Eh, I don't know. Maybe that's not a good answer. <laughs> So when we yeah. um, when we talk about so my my thinking heuristic this is how I know within half a second you shouldn't ulti is that what are you gonna do after you ulti what is he gonna do just uh, auto attack probably and use Q okay you can auto attack Q or Khan um, that's not too bad but you know is that better than hitting the vein Hmm. Maybe not because if you all if we all go after Rakan, like I guess maybe that gives Vayne an opportunity to do some damage to like the person who's getting targeted. I would just say I wouldn't think that far, right? I would just know on a surface level that um, using resources to try and hit someone who's a lesser priority target doesn't really make sense to me. Right. It's like when we use an ability, it's for a specific purpose, right? So let's say for Kaisa, for example, let's say you're trying to all in, right? Mm -hmm. And you find the minion wave and you Q and your your Q hits all these minions. And it, one bolt hits the enemy champion versus if you ulti behind them and isolate them with your Q, right? You're you're kind of targeting your Q for a specific purpose, which, which is how do I maximize my potential in this all in, right? How do I maximize this potential, right? So for ulti, when you're using it in a fight, it's not necessarily um, how fast can I? What's the how? What's the fastest time I can just jump there and hit them? It's usually uh, can I ult after them after they have no more escapes, or can I isolate Q, or can I get a be better better position for W, or can I dodge an ability? Right? Anything like that? Anything that has good value would be considered good. But in this case, no, no, no obvious value sticks out to me, which is why I'm like, oh, it doesn't make sense, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. That. That makes sense. Yeah. Right. So the, the kind of the kind of thinking here is how do you maximize your ability value? Right. So let me let me come up with an example. Um, Hold on. You you cut out. Oh yeah. I I I'll tab. So. Um, okay. Let me let me come up with an example. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where are these kinds of vids? Is this uh is this one? Actually, I can just honestly open up uh my most recent YouTube. I remember I cut it in there. And we'll, we'll look at like obvious value, if that makes any sense, right? So let me let me yeah. fast forward. Do 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 do. Kaiser Kaiser Kaiser. Here we go. I used ulti here, huh? No, I didn't. Bear with me for like thirty seconds or whatever, however long it takes. Yeah, yeah, that's alright. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. What is the value of this ulti? Uh, you have a guaranteed kill. Right. We we kind of have isolated Q, and we got close enough. Right. We I don't know if I can kill him. All I know is that this is good. Right. That's the idea. Is that the value of this is 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 winning is what we want to is what we want to describe it. We don't really like um, plan things out. Oh, I'm gonna finish him off. All I know is that if I use ulti here and I isolate Q him, this is a winning position. Okay. Right? And then yeah, the winning yeah. position will naturally lead to a win. 
unless they do something unless they do something to beat it which i can't really figure out because he's level five right so that's the idea is that you have your ulti for a specific purpose in which case ours is gap close and uh what's it called isolate q for maximum potential right how about this one let's yeah. uh, fast forward for a different one um oh we we passed it for sure oh here we go here we go how about this one this is gonna be similar same thing right isolated right. q gap close and then since it's a winning position you can find a way to win after right i didn't i didn't really plan the flash over traps or whatever it was just the winning position led me to a spot where i couldn't lose right and then this one is also the same thing right uh, this one right here Oh wow! Okay. So what was the value there? Yeah, you were able to dodge Jinx's. Uh, yeah, we were able to dodge something. Yeah. Right? So in this case, let me see. Let me see where are we at? where are we at. In this case, it would be something like you don't have to use it in this fight, unless they're getting away, and then you use it, right? Uh, so I think we kind of we're using abilities without really. Um, I, I don't want to say I don't want to say it's a bad habit. It's just this is an, this is a case where we might have used an ability without. Uh, thinking about it too much, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't. Right. It wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough value, right? Okay. You want. You always want maximum value. I also, I also think we missed W here too, right? Let me see. Right. Yeah. So how do we know to save it? Oh, maybe we can not use it, and then we can ulti W. That way you can't miss, right? That's the. That's kind of the idea. Is we okay. kind of uh, didn't really have two abilities in this fight for some reason. Right, so that's kind of the idea. What's going on? Sure, the the dive may not have been a good idea or, or or whatever, but this is kind of like this is like a principle that'll be relevant no matter what game, what role, what level you play at. Right. So that's kind yeah. of the, the the idea of you know you need to maximize your your value to the point where you you're always winning or at least you're not losing. Right. Because um, here we end up like uh, using up a lot of resources and then you know even though the dive may have been kind of weird. We could have definitely done something about it. Oh my lord. Pog champ. Alright, let's watch this. This is a good stay. Any questions, by the way? Agree, disagree? Yeah, uh, no. I agree totally. Uh, and I can clearly see that's a gap in my gameplay. So, that makes sense. Oh, minion block. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So similar, I think there's a similar pattern in, um, in terms of you're not really expecting what the enemy can do to you. In, in terms of like this, this kind of stuff, right? Where you turn around, but he's gonna he's gonna kill your ass, right? Here, <laughs> this is pretty close to dying, I think. So it's probably not a risk you would you would have taken that. And well, it's not really a risk. It's just we're getting hit for no reason, and like uh. When we talk about like risk versus reward, it's not about you take a fight and you don't know who wins. It's more of you put yourself in a spot like hiding in a bush and you say there is low risk because we're not really losing anything. Right? You don't really want to... Uh, when people say like, oh, let's do high risk, high reward, they like try and fight all the time and sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does work. That doesn't really, that doesn't really help you get better at the game, right? Um, you, the, kind of, the kind of like risk should be uh, limited to predicting what they're gonna do right so what i mean by that is like um let's say let's say you think they're ganking your lane so you call your jungle over what's the risk oh you might waste your jungle's time but the reward is that if you read them correctly you're going to win the fight right right okay Does that makes sense yeah um, in terms of, that's that's what i think of, of when i think of risk at least right it shouldn't really be like oh i don't know if i win this fight so let's fight <laughs> that's kind of weird. I don't know what he's doing. He's just dead. You can't help that. Um, yeah. You just needed to uh, get out, I think, which which is what you do. It's just you kind of took a cue to the face. It's like it's like it's like we said. You're like not really respecting what they can do, so they just like hit you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, so it's kind of uh, it's kind of interesting. Oh, we have Storm Razor. Hell yeah! Feels like it feels bad. I can't see your items. I have to like open this up. Uh, if see. you press space bar, I think it it uh. Yeah. Space bar. Yeah, or you, if you do that, well, you check. Yeah, if you. Is it H? Oh, it's, it's like H or some shit. I don't know. Um, 
whatever. I'm not really familiar with these these uh, shortcuts, but sure, push this in is fine. Nick landing is has been fine, right? I would I would definitely agree that. <laughs> look at this, look at this lane difference, right? Oh, this is awkward. So what's going on here? Uh, yeah. Well, that that one's easy. There we were. Uh, we saw Galio, and we don't know where Knock is. We were way too far. It's a similar story in terms of what we've seen in the game thus far, right? Is that you had a way out, kind of, but we didn't know they were coming, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, so like, what's so like, what's your point again? Tell me one more time. It was like uh, we didn't know what they could do, or or not that we didn't know. We didn't predict that. They could do this thing right yeah like Precisely. they can do this thing i didn't expect it it's kind of the idea right and so you don't know how to react when it happens right so something like this would be like you needed a pre-plan that you're gonna auto attack ulti out and even then that's losing right why is that losing because uh well i mean because we could have just prevented it by not being there oh no, no no like um uh how do you know that if so your my in oh. my opinion your oh, best God. plan is you're gonna ulti out you're gonna auto attack yeah. Nocturne and ulti out, and I would yeah. say that that is still losing if they play correctly. So why why would I say that's still losing? Um, because like they might be able to stop me from doing that. No, no, no it's never a might. It's it's always they can or they can't, right? It's always they can or they can't. Okay, okay. So they so they can stop me from doing that. Right. So how is 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 kind of kind of what I'm trying to get at. It's an exercise in figuring out what they can do to us to make a 100% well, play if, or 0% yeah. play. Well, so if knock alts and Galio alts knock, then there's, I mean, that if it's done correctly, there's no way I can auto attack and ulti out of that. Um, I would say you can get out with your move speed, right? You auto attack ulti and then by the time his ulti comes down, you're still out, right? Okay. Is there another... Any other resources they have on their on their team? Uh, yeah, I mean, Rakan apparently is, uh, Rakan can can get to me. Is right. That so yeah. my my idea is you're gonna ult you're gonna auto attack ulti, He's gonna dash and W. No way out. Right. Right. That way, that's how we know that there is zero. This is this is no way you can get out. Right. So the problem was that we didn't figure out that uh, they could come gank us. Right. That's kind of how we identify. You know what's going on right because let's say that you could get out um, that means that you didn't not only did you not know they were coming but you also didn't figure out a plan for getting out in this case it was just there's, there's no way out right um, zero percent chance you can get out is the idea right and you know that's kind of what happens but he didn't have to do anything crazy here right so that's kind of the it's kind of uh, uh, what's it called a pattern we're seeing is that you need to start figuring out how they can kind of um, beat you up Right. How, how can they fight me or how can they engage on me or what what can the opponent do that's good for them is kind of the general idea right okay you, you yeah. know you, you know in general oh you know you hit people with w u q and then you auto tag you're like killing right. them right um but the other way is true too if they use their abilities on you you're dying right oh i mean case in point nocturne going crazy and stuff and then of course that leads to stuff like this where you can't really control <laughs> oh you kill this guy see it's, it's really clear that you know how to kill people which is really good right uh, now the other piece of the puzzle is, you know, how are they gonna screw you up, right? Oh my mm -hmm. God! Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think I died 13 times this game, so there's gonna be plenty of uh, <laughs> plenty of that. But okay, we got. So what, ha what happened here? So like, I guess I altied to Vane, so because I wanted to like help out um and then we killed her but then galio and nocturne are coming right so my my heuristic would be something like fast forward stop and you see something like this and then you'd say something like i'm gonna hold on to my ulti if she gets away because she's dead anyways right true true if okay. she if she wasn't dead though then you could ulti and q but this is this is just my thinking shortcut is that he's already, he's yeah. already dead right okay um, sure. and yeah. if they flash out that's how you catch up right because if okay. you ulti in here i've done this so, this is how i know i've done it so many times that it and it doesn't work right that's how i figure it out like oh i ulti in try and kill him he flashes out oh what happened right 
Uh, it's kind of weird. So, yeah, it was kind of awkward because you were trying to hit him and then, you know, we got stuck here, right? <laughs> yep, pretty much. So, one way to give you, like, a, um, a quick piece of advice. Oh, my God, he got fucking punched. <laughs> uh, one, <laughs> one, one way to kind of uh, 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 help you develop, like, um, how, do, how do you get more value out of your abilities, right? One of right. the best ways is don't use it. You just hold on to it until you have the the fattest value you can see, right? It will be super obvious to you, I promise, right? Like, you've seen it all. You've seen Kai'Sa isolated Q. You've seen Kai'Sa press W, whatever. Um, you don't really need to be taught what looks good and what looks bad. Like, for example, brand bouncing on three people. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Versus, versus yep. brand, like, bouncing and hits a minion once. Oh, it goes into the minion wave and it's like, what's going on, right? You already know right. what good value looks like. Now it's about how do you get that every time. Uh, one of the best ways to do it is to hold on to your abilities until you can guarantee it, right? So what I'm seeing is that okay. um, from one direction, we're yeah. not really guaranteeing that. And from another direction, uh, we're letting them kind of, um, uh, what's it called? Hit us, hit us and we're not expecting it, I guess. Like, for example, condemn, vein condemn or nocturne Q or uh, nocturne ulti or wh whatever it is, right? What's going on, okay. Oh. This, uh... Oh, not like this! Oh, that's that's what feels bad. <laughs> well, that's fine. We're just 2v2 down here. You guys are dead, right? 100%. You know how I can tell? You're dead here, too. Vayne has red buff, I think. No, she can do it without red buff. Um, yeah, I think if... Rakan like lands a combo on Brand before Brand can get his combo off, then yeah, I think we're gonna lose that majority of the time. Right, and how do you know with a short thinking heuristic, like a shortcut thinking short thinking shortcut? Okay, okay. Um, we're gonna be tough on you because you said you wanna you said you wanna do a long uh, long term. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the. The heuristic is is heuristic just like another word for like a shortcut? Is that like yes. is that what that yes, word means? Yes, it is. Okay, it is indeed. Okay. Um. Well. Okay. So I would say because uh they they're very mobile and they have a lot of CC. If they combo their CC on brand, uh, we don't really have a response. Is that it? Right. That's that's pretty much what I'm thinking. Right. They, yeah. If they let's say they do this thing, they do a good thing, which is they ulti brand or they ulti you. You guys have a response. Are are you asking if we if we have yeah, a response? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys do you guys yeah. have a response? Uh well Brand can throw his combo, but even so, like that's still probably not gonna be that good for well, uh, us. That's that's true, but I would argue that he's he's dead before he can cast any abilities. Right. Yeah. Well so you I said if he ult if they went on me. Right? Or are you saying if they all go on him, is what is our response? Well, first we can we can say let's let's say they can go on you because they can go on either of you guys right now. This this is within range, I would say, right? Yeah, yeah. So so, so if they go on me, Brand can get his combo off. Uh, but I still think we lose. Um, and then if they go on Brand, we don't have really any response because uh, I mean I'm not gonna do that much damage to to them that fast. Right. So that's kind of how you figure it out is. One side has a play they want to make. So let's say uh, they can kill you. They want to make this play. And then it's your job to say, we can beat that. So with 90% certainty. So let's say your jungle is right in this bush. Mm -hmm. So you can beat that with 90% certainty or whatever, right? Uh, and then they go on the play. You guys beat them. And then you guys win. Right? That's, how you, that's, how you, that's how you win League of Legends, essentially, consistently, right? It's always having a way to win. And let's say uh, you're playing Vayne or Khan. You see their jungle mid. Oh, okay, we can go. There's no way for them to stop us. Right. right, it's kind of the big idea. So it's always about: Do you have a good play, and do you, or do you have a counter to the good play? Right. So in this case, you guys just died because you have no way to stop it. Right. And that's the thing we want you to to realize for sure. For uh, uh, or it looks like it's definitely something you want to work on in the future, at least is is making sure you know what they can do. Right. Because I feel like we're always in a position to get caught by it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he just dies. Nothing. You really can't stop that. You guys are just uh, too far out, right? Um, what was the what was the ulti though? For a shield? Do the replay. Yeah, 
It was for the shield, I think. Yeah, right. I was actually, I, I was actually testing the mechanic because, like, I, I do, I am pretty, like, pretty relatively new to her, and I, I was trying to see if I could get any distance. Oh yeah, it, On, yeah. <laughs> I figured out you pretty much, you pretty much can't get, get distance. distance. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really do much. Uh, yeah. So this is the, yeah. the problem here is just that um, we just didn't know that what they were gonna do is the idea. Yeah, e so, exactly. Yeah, you, you just stop there because you can say stuff like, "Oh, your plan." You, if you had a plan and it didn't work out, you need to fix the plan, or uh, you didn't execute properly. Here, we just didn't have a plan, so you need to make sure that you know what you're gonna do if X, Y, Z happens. Like a common one, a common one is let's say um, the enemy blitz hooks Alistar, and then you know AD carry and Alistar go on the AD carry, right? So your plan is, oh, if they hook my support, we're instantly going in, and you have no okay. hesitation, right? Versus reacting to it, maybe you you put a couple of auto attacks on Blitzcrank when you weren't supposed to, right? Stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of the idea. Is you need to you need to make sure you know what's gonna happen before it happens. I think is is one of the things we're seeing at least. Because it yeah. seems like your mechanics are pretty good. Um, it's just that uh, you need to make sure you 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 know what's uh, going on, like what's going to happen. It, it's about the like thinking part, I think. That you want to work on instead of like any kind of physical yeah. ideas okay all right let's, okay. let's fast forward and see what's going on here okay push it in very good so like so what kind of like for example you you, you talk about like having a plan if they do x y or z right so right. if you were bot lane right and you're playing against rakan uh and uh in vain in that situation have been if they if they want on you like would your plan have been at that point to just not been in a position to get engaged on until we had like jungle help or like what yes. would you have done right you always yeah. have to come up with something so in that case yeah uh, you don't you don't walk up because you're instantly dying right or let's say you had cleanse so you're going to cleanse it and then ulti out you're going to w him cleanse and ulti out right something like that but let me let me show you an example of like what an, another plan looks like and it's specifically against recon right um let's see is this one it is this one it is a Kaisa. Kaisa, 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 Kaisa. This one? I mean, I guess these work. It's not really the one I'm looking for. One sec. I'm definitely, I'm sure it's here somewhere. Okay. I'm sure it's here somewhere. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Oh shit, I know where it is. I know where it is. Okay, give me a sec. Um let me see. Finger is looking for this in here. Okay, here we go. Alright. Let me know if you can um figure out what the plan is from here. Okay. Well it's uh it's Kaisa and and Lulu versus uh Lucian and Rakan. Um, okay. Lulu you should, you should factor in not... jungle too. Because okay. like you saw, the Nocturne well, is going to come into your lane, right? Right. Well, so so like you have a Rengar that's MI. He can pop up at any at any given second if you haven't seen him on the map. Or at least you have to assume that. Um, Agreed, right. Uh and while we don't really have jungle pressure right now because like Tilly's ulti is down so like she can't just kind of zip over so um i so so okay so your plan your plan right now would be to just not get engaged on like i don't see i don't really see like a real good way for you guys to fight them right now okay i, I think that is, is yeah. i think that's a reasonable that's a reasonable plan it's just wait yeah. just hide and wait right so let's see what's going on here yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay, I beat it. I beat it. I beat it. So here. Oh, okay. Talia ends up coming. Oh. Wait. I don't so. Think I will, uh, huh. That was. What really happened there? Weird. <laughs> well, I guess Talia scared off Rengar, and then you saved your ulti, and you just used it on Rakan. Let's watch again. Got a kill. I beat, I beat. Yeah. Her. Yeah. So here's a hint. I said I can bait, so Talia is coming. So how can I bait this without insta dying? From this picture right here. Oh. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember what yeah, you saw? Yeah, 
Yeah, wait for Rengar to use his leap and then just ulti, or. Uh, well, the main problem is we have to beat Rakan ulti, right? So, uh, hmm, you could either let Lulu ult you or ulti the Rakan ulti. Mm, I would say it's not very. I don't think it's working. I'm still dying. Right. If you get hit by ulti, you're dying, essentially, right? Right? Um, right? That makes sense, um, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so what what would your so the question is what what is your plan right now? You have a plan and you're saying so, what, is, what do you think what do I think it is? What did I do to trick him? Okay, you just flashed. <laughs> well, I didn't just flash, right? Oh. Oh. Let me mute this real quick. Does anything stick out to you? Right before he flashed? Do it again. Oh, you waited. You waited for. Okay, so, so Rakan pops his all, and then you know he's gonna try to pop you up. So you waited for him to cast, and once he casted it, then you flashed. Uh, I don't think my reaction time is that good. But if you could do that, that would be insane, right? Um, how do we convince him to use his W? Because we're walking. How come he doesn't W right now? We're just walking straight back. He's not close enough? Yes, he's not close enough. Right. All right. So what do we do? What do we do here? To convince him he was close enough. You baited him to use his W? Right, but how? Right. All right, look at my mouse movements for another hint. Yeah. I don't know. All, all I really see you doing is just walking back at him. Right, that's exactly what yeah. I did, right? I turned around. So he was convinced that he was in range. So that's how I knew that I could flash. I can't re I can't do it on reaction time, right? I just knew that after I turn around, he's going to W with 100% certainty. Right? Okay. Because he knows if he hits me, I'm dead. And I know that if he hits me, I'm dead. So I pretend that, yo, yo, hit me, right? I'm turning around, and then I flash immediately. Okay. Right, so that's kind of right. the, the idea is you have a way to beat it, right? If I didn't have flash, can you do this? You, you probably can't, right? No. So, the idea is that you know what they're going to do. You have to know what they're thinking. Right, okay. Right? In order to beat it. And then if you don't have a way to beat what they're thinking, then don't do anything, right? So here, we just turned around, and he, he got, he got, he was, he was, without a doubt in his mind, he knew he could hit me, right? That's how we knew we could flash before he used his ability, right, is the, is the idea, right? Okay. Yeah. How, how close do you have to be with Rakan's ulti to just hit him without, like, hit, hit, hit Rakan, like, without a uh, without actually using W. Wait, say that again. Yeah. How? 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 Cl I mean, I guess I can just test this on my own time. But like, just no, like no, no, no. You can, you can. Like Rakan's ulti, like when he just pops R, like without W, does he have to be on directly on top of you to trigger the charm? Oh yeah, he has to touch you. Yeah. Right. Okay. His character model has to touch you essentially. Actually, the animation right. has to hit me. All right. Okay. Right. 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 Oh, that sounds good. So what's going on here? Sure, we're mid. We're pushing this out. Everything is fine. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So also, one of my questions is like, what does my macro look like? Like, am I even in the right spot right now? Like at this. I point think you're time? you're doing fine, right? What we did is push out bot. And we went mid, looking for a pick. We're gonna have to go back back, back bot soon, right? Is the idea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you see nocturnes? I think he's fine. Sure, you guys are gonna give up rift herald, but I think that's uh that's just a given. He has to go back bot. I think Brand is saying you gotta go back bot. I agree. And you catch this wave. So this is, this is perfectly fine, right? Okay. Sounds good. You did, you did, you did good. Maximizing your um, your time, right? I don't know. I don't, maybe Brand's afraid of some kind of engage, but doing ground is fine too. Oh, fight's breaking out. You gotta go. Let's see what's going on here. Wow, this is messy, but I think we can help. You just hit the closest guy. You're good to go. You're gonna ulti after. Oh! Okay, that was fine. Oh, that was a good usage of ulti. 
I used heal. I think that was a waste. Here. I gotta turn around. Cause like. Oh, there we go. Turn to be fine now. The bush, but actually, yeah, I think I lived. So this is a really good fight, right? Okay. This is what we want to see. It's just um, I think it's just too much based on reactionary versus prediction. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. Like here, you saw you saw him W, but I'm not sure if you were predicting he was gonna aim you. You know what I'm saying? Like beforehand, it was like based on reactions. This ulti was really good, but um, it was really good. Honestly, okay. that's what that's exactly what we want to see, right? So uh, if we had that for like the first like three plays, it'd be perfect so far. Okay. Let's say, right? Sweet. It's just the the big idea is you need to know that it's coming before you can figure out what you can do to beat it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Predicting it, like sort right, of anticipating right. it. Yeah. Right. You need to read the future essentially. So let's see what's going on here. You guys doing dragon? Oh wow, this could be risky. Yeah. Monka S. Yeah, this is, this How do we, uh, oh. We're fucking dead here. Oh, no. How do we know from the get-go? What was the, uh, the shortcut I used? What do you think? Uh, too many MIAs. Well, they literally spawned and are coming, right? So that's kind of, and you can't, you can't take this in time. It's just, those two okay. pieces of information is just, that's yeah, how I know that you, you can't okay. get this without getting punished, right? So, I can't believe you killed this guy. I don't know what he was doing, but I think Diana just killed his ass. Yeah, now things are going really poorly. No, everyone's everyone's dying for sure, I'm pretty sure, right? Kha'Zix is beast mode. Oh, Kha'Zix! PogChamp. Wait, but you guys gave away so many shutdowns, though. Yeah. Oh, no. So, yeah, that's kind of... That's kind of... Yeah. There's a lot of pieces here and there, but the, the general idea is the same, right? Is figuring out what's good and what's bad and making sure you have like a shortcut to figure it out right so can you take red so for me it'd be like okay can i take red in time and the answer would be no right something like that oh 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 no so yeah so like, that's that's not good yeah so like so before you do something i mean this is this might even be like for you but like you kind of like ask yourself you assess your option. Can I take? And the shortcut in your head is like, no, they're spawning right now. So that immediately just becomes a non-option for you. Right, right. What so you're saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So you say, yeah. I want to do this. Can they stop me? Can I beat that? Right. I want to do okay. something. Can they okay. stop me? Can yeah. I beat that? So you say, I want to do red. Can they stop me? They're all coming in right now. Can we beat that? Five men hide in the bush right next to me. Four people hide right. in the bush next to me, so I look like I'm doing it alone, right? Something like that. You have to come up with something, though. If you can't come up with something, that's automatic loss, right? Which is okay. exactly yeah, what happens in League of Legends, right? Mm -hmm. um, you always need to be able to, you know, figure out if you're, if you know. That's kind of how you know if your move is good or bad, is could they have stopped me? Oh, wow, what's this going on here? Oh, you can't chase this guy, so he's just going to walk away. Okay, clear this out, sure. I think you're fine against Jax here, unless he has Flash. So you should be okay. That was a nice word in the bush. Right? You worded this, right? No, did you word this? I think you worded this. This is an example I of like, oh, he's I hiding in the bush. Have, uh, far -sighted it. I might have farsighted that. Yeah. Oh, Kinda you need to push this hard. That he recalled and... Your team just yeah. 3v5. What the fuck? How do you lose this? Oh, they tried to do Baron. Uh-oh. Well, actually, it should be fine. You're gonna get Baron, I think. Unless Jax goes crazy. This is fine. You need to push bot. You're too far away to help. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it happens. Their account ulti killed someone, and then Nocturnal killed someone. Oh, this is not good. You wanna, you wanna base. For sure. Unless he face tracks. This is, uh... Really strange, I think. You're dead to condemn flash here. Oh my god, she fucked up. Right, so you see what I mean though, by in terms of uh how do you know what's gonna happen beforehand? Right, I thought he was gonna condemn flash you and you're gonna get screwed, but sure, right. I think um yeah, I don't think this pick was good, right? So this is this is actually where we talk about risk. Um in terms of how much are you losing by sitting here? So the risk is that you're not sure if she's going to check or not. So, how do you decrease that risk? You have, so there's some reason that she's walking past here. Like, say, for example, um, these Krugs are up, and you think that she's going to do Krugs. This would be a good reason to sit here, right? But if they have no reason to path through here, we will call this, like, 
high risk because you have no idea what they're doing, right? You have no idea what they're thinking is the idea. So I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, right? But she was like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk away here, right? <laughs> so, so it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Thoughts, couple thoughts oh yeah. On this. Uh, I think, I think this could have turned out a lot different if I would have landed my, like, so she was about to face check, she didn't, but she was far enough for me to charge up, use my W Q, uh, and then that would have gotten her down to maybe one fourth HP and then I could have finished her off with, with my LD but I kind of I didn't really go fast enough I think and that kind of messed me up but but here's the here's one thing that I wanted to say right. I don't really see anything else on the map that I can really do uh I mean because like Krugs are up on the top side of the map but other than that my entire team is dead I re I don't really see any other objective if you base here. and go mid can you defend Uh, no, I don't think I can. How come? Uh, because Galio and Nocturne. Because, like, Ga Nocturne can just ult me, and then Wait, I'll be you saw him use ulti, though? No, idea. I didn't. <laughs> no, oh, I didn't. Oh, no. So, okay, then, then, then yeah. yeah, then you can't defend. I mean, I don't know. I, does, like, the animation come up? Like, maybe I maybe I would've... Like, if I'm bot lane, and no Nocturne ulties at Baron, like, that still shows up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that still so shows I, guess, up. I guess I did have the information. I just didn't use it then. And right, then so okay. the punish the punish here is that they can hit this thing. And you guys might have a problem. Or they can run yeah. through your jungle or something like that. And it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah. Or they can okay. catch you here if this doesn't work for some reason. Like I said, if she condemn flashes, you might it's have a over. bad time. Right, you okay. might, yeah. You're, I think you're losing if she condemn flashes. So, um. Oh, actually, yeah, we are losing here, right? Yeah. So they collapsed. That's not good. So it's that's how we. Global. That's how we know. It wasn't a good idea. Yeah. You're yeah. Right, that's how right, we know right. from the get go. <laughs> like, but before right. anything happens, like if you ever watch my coaching sessions, it's yeah. like I know it's gonna happen before it happens because we've seen it a thousand times. You've seen it a thousand times. <laughs> that's not new. Nothing really here is new to either of us. Yeah. Oh, he's this. This is he's gonna die to Nocturne if he's not careful. Oh, everyone's fucking dying now. <laughs> everyone's dead here. All right, fast forward. We don't want to watch this. So yeah, you see how kind of what we do has like a snowball effect, whether it's good or bad. Right? Yep. So anytime we do something bad, okay, a lot of bad things are happening because our team doesn't know how to deal with it. Anytime we do something good, okay, the enemy team is all dying because they don't know how to deal with it. Right? So that's kind of the idea in solo queue is to, to create consistency and, and how do we generate as many good outcomes as possible. Right? Or let's say if our team is, is getting caught and stuff, how do we minimize the amount of bad outcomes that are that are that are happening? Right. I'm just gonna turn off the sound because it's getting kind of annoying. Um, yep. Actually, let's do one. Okay. And then uh, this is this is one v three. You can't win this. Or one v two, right? So. So okay. I don't know my, what happened here, but my team flamed me on that, and I'm I'm, I'm actually I'm actually unsure like what I could have done differently. Like, so I was kind of wondering. Cause like I okay. was next to the wall, I was next to the wall. I was thinking maybe I can like use my uh, rockets, like, but I don't know. So from the get go, when I see this, I know you can't win. Cause I missed my W. Yeah, that's it. You miss something. You take a one v one, one champion. Okay, let's say it's uh, let's say it's Ezreal versus Lucian. Okay, Ezreal misses Q. Who wins? Not Ezreal. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all you need to know. It's just Ezreal lost, right? Lucian misses his Q. Okay, maybe Ezreal is automatically winning until he misses too, right? Something like that. Uh, let's say uh, what's a what's another example? Uh, let's say it's Brand versus uh, uh, Lux. Okay, whoever misses their abilities loses, right? That's pretty that's pretty clear cut, I would say, right? So yeah. when I see this, it's really hard to win now. So you know, how do you win? So, I'm not really sure. Yeah. Okay. And then I see this too. I see the E. It's also zero value. So you're playing with two, without two abilities thus far, right? That's the idea. Is that we're kind of uh, just because you're in range to hit someone doesn't mean you're helping. So what what would I what should I have done differently? Just right there after I missed my W, like what would you what would you have done? So say we're over here, and then we miss W. You can stand right here. Well, if you have a pink ward, I hope. Yeah, you can pink ward this. And if they chase Kha'Zix, you can Q auto attack Vayne and then E out. That's pretty good, I would say. That's not too bad. 
And then if okay. uh, what's it called? If uh, your Q comes back up in time, you can ulti back in, auto attack Q again. That's killing. Let's we'll say that's killing because she's isolated or close to isolated, right? Uh, but you know when you see this and she's too far away, no, there's nothing you can do. What can you do? I don't see anything. Okay. Got right, it. You can flash auto attack and the an E and then auto attack ulti out. I don't know. You would have to come up with something if you want to fight. But if you fight without like having a plan, you're just automatically dying, right? So. That's the idea, is that if you fight without figuring, if without securing your safety first, you're always losing. Does that make sense? Yeah, so here, yeah that's a good point. Yeah. Here, we're just not safe, so, you know, there's, there's literally nothing you could do. Like, it doesn't matter who you are. You're just, you're just going to die, right? Um, you're just, you know, so, you know, what a better solution could be some, something like you could sit here and try and fight them off there. What would be better than dying, right? Or even AFK Tower is better than dying because you gave up, you gave up money. And the uh, even going bot and like ignoring all this and giving the Baron is better. Right. Right. Anything is better than just like, um, like dying. You know what I'm saying? Usually in League of Legends, dying is a mistake unless you're starting a fight that's like five v four or you have some kind of play that's winning and it, and it requires your death. But usually, you know, for the most part, uh, most ranks, it's just like. Dying is is usually a mistake. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, things are just going south real quick. Are you gonna kill this guy? There's an ulti here. Very nice. Their vein is literally missing, so I don't know what's going on here. But oh, here comes vein. You should be fine if you land W. Auto Q W. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> seems good, seems good. So, yeah, yeah, mechanics aren't really a problem, in my opinion, from what we're seeing here. And it's clear because you're Diamond 5, right? You were yeah. you're better than these guys, like, however many weeks ago or days ago, right? I think it's just, um, yeah. we're just, we're just, it's harsh to say, but I feel like we're just dying for no reason. Yeah, I mean, my 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 theory skills like are probably not diamond five. Like I, I got to diamond doing support, so I know I I, knew, I know my AD needs to catch up a little bit. But it's good to know that like mechanically, because like I don't know, I feel like mechanics are probably a little bit harder for people to get better at than just. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I would agree. Smarter, you know, like I can I feel like that's something I can do. So mechanics potion, like if you there's something about mechanics you want to work on for now, it's uh, hold on to your abilities. Because I think you missed like, yeah. a lot of Ws. Um, and yeah, honestly, your ultis, your ultis are on point after like the first 15 minutes or whatever. So um, we don't have to worry about there. Uh, okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, we're dead here. Right? We know because you just poor ulti value. <laughs> so. He spoke too soon. <laughs> really? You get out of here. No way. No way. You should be fucking dead here. I just like ran right into. Wait, they must be trolling. She has condemn and flash. No way. No way. <laughs> but yeah, you you are you you should be technically dead there. I think. Let's see. Oh, she has no condemn actually. Pog champ, maybe you were fine here. You just out damage her. Yeah, but you see what I mean in terms of like, you're not kind of preparing for when they go. Oh wait, actually, how are you not dead here? I don't understand. The targeting. Oh, <laughs> not like this. All right, let's watch this. <laughs> so, so you see what I mean when it comes to like, um, we're getting hit by stuff and we have no idea it's coming, right? Okay. Yeah. Like, like here, like uh, you're gonna ulti in and then you get hit by Rakan ulti, right? All you saw was that you could kill Vayne, but you didn't kind of you ignored everything that they could do, right? You, you kind of ignored any kind of not ignored that 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 implies you knew beforehand, but we didn't kind of figure out that they had counterplay. That's the important part. You need to figure out if they have counterplay. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's a great point. Right, and then if you have counterplay to their counterplay, you win. Like for example, cleanse ulti. Well, actually, use their ulti. So cleanse flash against Rakan ulti, we'll automatic win. Right? Then you could say, I'm going in yellow. If Rakan's the only thing that can stop me, right? Uh, that's the kind of idea, right? Like look, these these mechanics seem seem fine, for the most part, right? Wow, 
It's kind of lucky he didn't punch you, but Kha'Zix died, so that's kind of awkward. Um, and then here we're just trying to get away, but <laughs> just this punch, goddamn. <laughs> and then this is just, I don't know what's going on here, but, you know, all these fights are kind of turning into chaos. So, um, I think the biggest, the biggest thing that'll help you if these games look like this, the biggest thing that'll help you is making sure that you know what they're going to do, right? You know, like, I mean, it's not surprising. Let's say you ulti into their team. What's the first thing they do? Rakan's going to ulti you. Or Jax is going to channel his counter-strike, right? Or Galio is going to press taunt or whatever, right? So any, any kind of response they have, you need to be able to respond to that is the, is the idea, right? It's just all okay. fighting stuff. Like, honestly, any kind of macro ideas is kind of, um, there were pretty much no chances to do any kind of macro ideas since, you know, it's just like fighting 24 seven or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, for sure. That kind of chose this game. Cause it was just a big fiesta, but yeah, at the same time, it's like, you know, how much can you learn from a big fiesta? So, all right. And, and part of it is we're also causing it too. Um, not, not just everyone else. Everyone else is definitely causing it too, but, um, we're, we're also contributing, <laughs> I would say. Oh my, you're gonna kill this guy. Oh! What the heck? How did I know that you were gonna kill this guy? Which dude? Which guy? Both of them, I would say. Alright, let's watch this in slow mo. Tell me at what point you automatically win. Well, Jax pretty much used this combo and, like,. I mean, Jax is pretty strong 1v1, but uh, if he doesn't have his stun, I mean, I do a lot of damage, so I can probably just, I can just solo kill him. Yeah, he has no stun. That's it. That's how we know. Yeah. So, um, unless Galio has some kind of like Tom Flash or whatever, you would know that you could just hit this guy. But he has stun now, so you're dead. Right. That's how we know. Well, actually, he didn't even have to use it. Oh, no. So, yeah, that's the thing, is that if you had expected, you know, what what do we have to watch out for? Oh, Galio Taunt. Jack's done. You see both of them come out. You're good to go. Right. Okay. That's kind of how you can figure out. Unless you're like 5,000 gold behind or something. I mean, you have more items than him. So I think you're definitely killing him. Damn, you're so strong. What's going on here? You have four items. Holy shit. Wait, it's so weird. How do I see money? I don't know. Is there, is there a way to see money? Question. There's definitely a way to see money. Uh, there's some weird hotkeys that showed like information that you can't see right now, but I don't know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really curious because he has three items and you have four and a half. And I'm just like, how did you get all this money? It must have been a bunch of shutdowns. X? Oh my god. What? You have like 10k on him. Wait, is that right? That can't be right. What the heck? No, right. it was 1k, not 10k. Oh, okay, okay. 1k then. Oh! Okay, good. Don't go on that, right? Because <laughs> that's a Rakan ulti in your face. Or Galio ulti. Wait, where do we go? Hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone. <laughs> so you went for this. <laughs> Not like this. I think I... I think I did? No. Yes. Alright, so you get Rakan ulti here, you're dead. Right. So I don't know what happened here, but... uh, They're in base somehow, and you didn't know. So... that's a, This is what I'm talking about, though, right? It's just... Yeah. You have no counter... Okay. You're a hundred percent dead, okay? Right. Um, and when we talk about counters, is the reason why it's super important is because at the bronze level, it's like, you know, they can I can hit them and they they don't know what, how to play the game, so they die, right? And then at the challenger level, it's like Vayne is gonna e flash on me into the wall. How do you stop that? Right. So yeah, that's it's the same idea. It's literally the same concept. It's just more advanced, right? So this this is just Rakan's in this bush. How do you stop it? And then if you have no way to stop it, you're automatically dead, right? So, I don't think you can't okay. stop with QSS here. Yeah. So. so, like, I think, like, I don't know. Wow. Jeez. I don't know. After you say all that, I'm so surprised I didn't die right there. But, uh, here's what I, here's what I was thinking, right? Like, I saw someone die at red. So, I'm like, okay, the rest of their team is probably going to the red buff. Um, <laughs> like... Like I, I thought I'm like I'm like yeah it's probably possible that there's people there but like, like but at the same time it's possible that there's not people there. Here so, we go. So, so here's, here's but like the that's thing. a low percentage play though. That's I that's exactly yeah. what most players think. You say yeah. okay, there's a fight going on, people are going there, I'm okay here, and then you die to the jungle, right? So here's here's a classic example. Tell me if this has ever happened to you. You see enemy dragon has been you see the dragon has been slain, 
and you're like, okay, he's not here. So you go to a red and you instantly die to their jungle. Has that happened to you before? Yeah. That's happened to me before. How do you, you know, what made you go, what what possessed you to face check your red? Oh, they must all be a dragon because he has smite. Right? Yeah, that's a exactly. classic, that's a classic trick, right? So you, you that's why you can never really, um, they know, they know how, what you're thinking, right? That's, you should, you should, that's what you should expect. They know exactly what you're thinking, right? So, uh, so like, trying to make so, assumptions yeah. is like, you can't make assumptions, right? Unless you have some kind of, you need, to, you need to come up with some kind of reasoning to, in, a, in order to make these assumptions. Otherwise, you're always gonna, you're always gonna lose out, you know? So, so um, for example, in that dragon, and when that dragon thing, right? So mm -hmm. most, a lot of people would probably make that same mistake. Um, so your what's the correct like counter to that then? Like so, let's the say they're doing dragon and you can't stop yeah. it. You're gonna be you're gonna pretend to be a dumbass, right? So you're gonna try and do your red, right? Because so that's exactly yeah. what he's thinking. And then you pink ward it and your support your support Rakan is right here. Okay, what happens next? Oh, he comes out because all they think is they need one dude and then you kill him, and then you get Baron or something like that. So that's the okay, idea. Got it. But let's say you your support's it, not here. Yeah. yeah, you have to come yeah. up with something, anything. But let's say let's say you don't have anyone to back you up. Can you 1v1? And then you come up with a you know, yes or no. And then say, let's say you can't 1v1. Okay, red's gone. What are you going to do about it? You're going to die for it? And you're still going to lose it? You, there's no way to get it, right? So don't don't try and get it. That's like a classic, like, oh, I need this, but I might die. And then you go do it, and then you die, right? That's like <laughs> that's like yeah, the classic right. thinking. Oh, no. So this is like, this is how they think in Challenger. Like, this is like, right, 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 this, right. Is how, this is how the thought process goes. Okay. I don't know if you planned this. But this could be an example of you're pretending to be stupid, right? So how come this is a winning fight, even though you're in front of them? Uh, three people are dead. Right. So you know how many you guys have three? They have two. Automatic win, right? It's kind of what you yeah. think, right? So that's all you really need to know. All is automatic win. All you have to do is just fight these guys and you win. He actually jumps on you, which is awkward, but whatever. You guys should end up killing them. I would hope. Okay, nice. And then that's Baron. But I don't know if you planned that. Is the thing. Well, <laughs> I mechanically, think. I don't think I did that super. I don't think I did the the greatest play mechanically there. But I don't right, know. right, right, right. It's it's all about the idea like. Idea was right though. I mean, like we had. I agree. Yeah. If you had a way to beat their one shot, then I think the idea is right. What is going on here? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Oh, he's fucking dead. Justice punch, baby. Dude, this Galio's getting a bunch of sick kills. I don't know why, but <laughs> watching Galio kill people is like kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, like Galio. It's fucking sick. <laughs> yeah, oh, I agree. You're dead here. <laughs> How do you know? Uh, Nocturne. All right, I'm, you have nowhere to stop. Nocturne out. Yeah. Uh, Con out. Actually, maybe you do something like um, auto attack E out. Rakan comes in, and then you QSS flash and you kill Nocturne. Right? That's that's literally what you have to think if you want to be out here. That's literally what you have to think. And then on top of that, you and then on top of that, I miss something. Is Galio up? Okay, I die, right? Because that's the amount of time it takes to come up with that plan is like, like one second, right? You have one second to make this as good as possible because you're already in a bad spot, right? Um, but I think we get out here. If they had a word, you're definitely screwed. I think if you're not ready, like even if you have all the answers somehow and you can figure it out in five minutes, they're not gonna give you five minutes, right? Right. Um, so you have to before you walk in there, prepare to one v two. You must know what you're ready to do. Otherwise. You're just, you're, just, you're just dying, and there's no way... You know, even if you win the fight, you didn't get better, right? Right. So, because because you, you can't repeat it, is the idea. You can't make it happen again in a different game. That's kind of the, the, the idea we're okay, going for. Okay, this is good. Yeah, this is definitely yeah. really good. Aww. Right, that's that's always why they say consistency is important. Like, let's say... Let's let's do tennis as an example, right? And they say... Um, let's say, let's take my serve, for example. My serve was really good when I landed it you know, into the into the right box, right? But how often did I land it into the box? No, like, not often. So, right. uh, I'll lose to someone who just, like, uh, underhand served in, into the box, like, complete beginner, and I'll lose a point because I couldn't fucking serve, right? So, it's all about consistency, is that they could do it every time, and I couldn't do it every time, even if it was a great play, or, or free win, or, or whatever it was. It's not consistent, so. And it, I didn't get better at the game. Spoiler alert, so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's a good analogy. Monkai asks, you guys want to run? Yeah, so at this point, like, I don't know. I don't. I just don't think we're winning any team fights. Uh, and I'm, I'm in, I, like, when I, like, that, that's sort of, like, what I'm confused about. Because I'm like, what? Oh, you are winning, what, right? Uh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh it was close. This is even, we'll consider. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Yo, I don't know what that you see was. that? Holy shit. This is even. There's two two died, three died. Okay. That's true. I That's think maybe the I think it's the next team fight maybe that we lose. Alright, let's watch this. All I need to do is hold on until Kazix gets here. Man, it's so hard to watch with this replay, man. It feels bad. Is it? Yeah. It's like I can't I can't tell what you're looking at or what what you're thinking just by like looking at this stuff. Like I don't we don't we like notice how we don't care about fog of war or anything like that, right? That doesn't really help us with anything, honestly. Oh. So, so we weren't prepared, what, right? Was my like even before this fight? That, that's one question. Even before that fight started, was I was I standing in the right spot? Like yeah, this is team, great. Okay, this is great. And then uh, what happened right here? Oh, he's charging. I think. Wait. No, no. What what did you do? Like, are you secure from defeat yet? No, not yet because Nocturne has an ulted. Right, and let's say you have an answer to that. If you did not plan it out, you don't have any. You you are not secure from defeat yet. You have to make sure you're ready for this, right? You have to make sure you're ready for this. So something like Nocturne Alt into Rakan Alt. Okay, you're gonna E this way and flash over, or E this way, auto attack, ulti over. You need you need to have something, right? So the reason why we say this is a mistake is because even though um, you can hit him and get away, you were not ready for it. So that's why it's a mistake, right? Okay. Is that you need it to be ready. Otherwise, you can't hit someone, right? Um, and then, you know, if you get caught, all it takes is one catch, and then there's a problem. Like this, right? I think we should be dead here, honestly. Because we weren't ready with the QSS, so. I don't know what happened, but um, they, like, didn't get you or something. But we got out, because we, really, we had enough it's resources. It's really, the video is really choppy right now. Give me one oh, second, good. if you don't mind. Okay. Dude, NA GPG makes me lag so hard. I don't know why. Too better internet. Okay. Uh, I'm good now. Okay. Cool. Let's do the next fight. But here, you didn't die, so that was really good. We got out. So it's good that you didn't... Oh, it looks like you were trying to help here, but you de you definitely don't want to help, right? Because how do you help without dying? You can't, right? So it's, uh, right. <laughs> it's similar, similar to this section up here when we tried to... Uh, um, Help this Kazakhs, but there's nothing we could do. This is, it's good that you knew that, so you, you ran out here. So we know you can we know that you recognize danger. It's just it just has to be really obvious, I guess, for you to to recognize it. So now, now it's like um making sure that before you hit someone, you're safe from whatever they can do to you first. Was the idea. Right. Okay. God. Oh, what the fuck? He's chasing your ass. I know, <laughs> dude. I knew he was following. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, now it's just the uh, game is all in your hands now because you can just kill everyone. Kaisa is crazy. Oh, this is free. This is free as fuck. All you need to do is... Oh, no, Kha'Zix. Feels bad. Oh, wow, they're not burning. No way. They have to burn here. Okay, and... Uh, oh! This is a spicy spot. This is the Jax. That's a good spot to be no, in. No, okay. no. You just have to be ready for the Jax, right? So we know it's not Vayne because I saw the silver bolts. And we know it's not Rakan because he's right here. But this could be a Rakan, Jax. I think you're fine if you QSS, auto attack, ulti, right? So that's the thing. You just always have to have a plan, right? Oh, my God. That was a sick brand ult. Wait, this, this is the dude right here. Oh, shit. Monka S. Holy shit. You're so fucked. How do you not die here? Yeah, it's it's just it seems like that's like the main your main focus I think is making sure you're secure from getting killed first because stuff like this right we're just not ready if she had flash you guys you guys are in danger of losing right yeah oh absolutely. no TP get out of there oh <laughs> oh I shit. I think I derped, yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> I mean, I you didn't see, yeah, you were looking at Vayne, so you didn't see it, so. Uh, I was just, that's that's something else. That's like map awareness. That's like a team fight awareness issue, but that's not, you know, that's not something you need to work on for a long time. So, yeah. That's like something I started working on when I got the Challenger, so that's, you don't have to worry about stuff like that yet. Bigger fish to fry, I think. 
So, so yeah. Oh, sorry, okay. what were you saying? No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, what I mean by teamfight awareness is, as you're hitting someone, do you know what's going on in the rest of the team fight? So you know, like, what okay. to do. Oh, did he right, tell you right. not to take it? What the fuck? No, actually, alright, so I didn't take it because, like, I felt like I wanted to wait some time before I took it, because then the red buff would last longer. I okay, I think that's pretty smart. That's actually really smart. It's just, um, you don't see that often. I think it's fine, as long as you have a reason, and it's a good, justifiable reason. That's fine, right? That's really good, actually. Okay. You have your red buff for longer. It's just that uh, if your team needed you immediately, you can't do stuff like that. But you were, you were good there. Yeah. Oh, okay. you're dead. 100%. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, so all it takes is just one thing to catch you, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because uh, you, you had an answer, but you're not ready. Right, so QSS flash and you're out. Or something like that, but... I think you're just dead to Vin or something, so... So, so in this instance, my positioning probably wasn't even... I mean, like, it, it probably wasn't the best because... QSS Flash is gonna get me out at a very low HP. And my team didn't really... Like, Nocturne wasn't deep enough for my team to just pick them off, I think. So probably, do you think I was standing too far up? It's just... You can't, you can't discuss positioning without discussing... What they're gonna do to you because how do you know how to position if you're not aware of what they can do right like we can say you're in a good position if you're ready for this or you're not in a good position because of this or whatever but the first step is always making sure you know you know what's gonna happen next like you know how they're gonna right, attack you right so right. so nocturne all nocturne galio all dictates that i should probably be standing in the back because if i'm not standing in the back then it's easy for them to just pick me up in the front while they're next to their team. But uh, at the same time, like you, you need to make them pay for their alts. So I think, I think, with that in mind, I should be standing farther in the back. Right, something like that. Okay. Right? Okay. That's how you think of it, right? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I think that's game. So. Right. Uh, so yeah, I think pretty much all twelve of your deaths came from this, stemmed from this idea. I don't think all twelve, but like close to it, like ten or eleven came from this like idea that you weren't prepared for XYZ, right? Whatever whatever it was. You weren't prepared. Like let me let me see where another example of um let me see if we can see this. I'll show you this chat too. This is another example. No, oh, not in this one. Okay. Let me open up da, 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 da. This one. Okay. Tell me if this, this is kind of what we want to see from you. This is kind of what it looks like, right? So you'll know what it looks like if you plan for every step and then you win, right? It's kind of how you figure it out, right? So what's uh what's going on here? Hold up, actually, this is a, this is great. This is a great tab. What what do you think is gonna happen next? Okay, well they're probably gonna push. Um, oh shit. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean they're preparing to defend. Tristana is a little bit far, considering they don't know where anybody is, but, uh... Right, so where are they? What, what would you... What's the worst case scenario? Uh, worst case scenario is they have that spot warded, and, uh, Tom Kench just, like, alts in with somebody, like Yasuo, or, like, Kagas, or Kelly, and they just, like, insta-jibber. There's something faster than that, but you have, a, you have the right idea. You have the exact uh, idea. Like, think of literally worst case scenario. Like, I mean, they're all like most of these skills aren't very long range. Uh, well, Jin could probably. Uh, I don't know. Something faster than that. I don't know. I don't know what's faster than a Tom Kench ult. That's gonna put him right next to him. Think of like, let's say all five of them flash over. That's pretty insane, right? Yeah, but that's possible. It's possible. I'm not joking. Like that's a thing. That's like a thing. It's possible. So yeah. Where do you think is coming over this wall, right? Yeah. They're coming. They're coming right. over this wall. Right? Exactly. So, let's see. What's what's my plan here? What did I ping? My QSS, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So what's gonna what's what's happening next? What do you think? You think you're I mean, uh maybe you're baiting something? Oh, what happened? Kragas leaped over the wall. How fast was that? Leaped. That was really yeah, fast. Yeah, he flashed over. That was, that was pretty much impossible to react to, right? Yeah. Without a plan, that is. If you saw this, 
You have no idea what's going on. You're hundred percent dead, right? True, but if it's you had a plan, you you're ready for it. Okay, yeah, so, so let's, yeah, so okay, yeah, let's watch what's going on, right? So if you have a plan, then you can't lose, right? It's impossible. Yep, I have a hundred percent way out, right? So tell me, tell me if you know what it is when you see it. So, so wait. So, what's the question? What was the What was the plan? Oh, the plan was to uh, QSS. Uh, well, I guess you. I guess you let Gragas do his combo, but you waited for Jin to use his W, and then you QSS Jin's W, and then Lulu's ulti is enough to keep you at enough HP. Uh, and then yeah, a after they burn all that, like I don't know. I guess they just. That's not a great team fight for them at that point, I guess. Right. I would ignore all this small stuff, right? And say, plan is QSS Flash, Yasuo ulti. Right, that's it. Off the Gragas engage. That's 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 all of what I'm thinking. That's it. Nothing nothing else. No, no Lulu. Nothing else is factored in, right? Because that's the only thing you need to worry about, right? So, in this case, we were waiting for the Yasuo to ulti, but it didn't happen. So, I was just like, okay, we're just out. And then, you're just automatically winning the fight, right? That's all you need to do is you can plan this out and then all they all die. I guess you know it seems good. I don't know, man. I I I I feel like because they were able to get you to half HP, that's still somewhat of a win. And I mean, you had to burn your flash and W or no, you didn't use your W. Wait, like, so I lost like seven hundred HP and they lost two people, right? Or they're losing one they at the very least. Okay, because right. because they're in a position to get collapsed by your team. Right. I mean, this is a this is the this is the team fighting shortcut. Is um, how do you know you win this team fight? They had a bad engage. Five v five. Okay, that's okay. like a short. Yeah, that's yeah. a shortcut I use. Yeah, right? so yeah. How, okay. how do you force a bad engage? It's all very logical, right? How do you force a bad engage? Oh, you have a plan for their engage. Then you're good to go, right? Here's the exact same thing, right? From the same game. What was that? What was the plan there? Replay it. QS has jumped the yes ult. All right. Because, so it's like, all pre-planned. Yeah. 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 It's all pre-planned. There's it's nothing we do. Not, there's no risk involved. It's like 100% you're going to win. Right? It's either 100% you're done or 100% you're going to win. And then since they have no yes ult, you know, they just get fucking rolled over. Right? So that's the idea. Is that you need to have you need to have something for when they engage on you. This is just like a more extreme example, right? But if you don't have something, then you're just gonna die, right? <laughs> you're just gonna die, and, and then throw the game or something like that. So that's the uh, so, that's what it looks like. So like, speaking of the Yasso alt, right? Like I feel like most Yassos are gonna wait for the right opportunity to to alt to you. So like, can you even like? I know that you QSS at this time, but like. I found myself like in team fights. Yeah, so we'll just wait until everybody blows everything, and then he'll just jump in, and then he'll just ulti you. So like, as an AD carry, do you even have permission to get into the fight? Unless no, of he... course not. Yeah. You say I don't have a way to stop Yasuo from knocking me up, and you have to stay away. Or another example is uh, Yasuo EQ flash knock up. If you know where to beat that, you lost the fight for your team essentially, right? So wow. yeah. let's say okay. let's say you're you just have to wait until you're out of range or you can bait it out by like walking forward and walking back. Or you have QSS or flash or whatever it is, you have to have something, right? Uh, and if you have nothing and you get caught by it, you know, you're losing the game, essentially. Right. Um, Perfect. Okay. And you have, you have to sense. yeah, you have to you have to kind of uh make sure that this you, you like do this a thousand times. Like you come up with plans, you make sure you know what's threatening you. And once you do it over and over and over and over and over again, you can kind of Think it very quickly, like right before a fight happens. Like you say, okay, this is what I'm watching out for. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's press. Let me get. Let me go with the other picture real quick. Um, where did it go? Holy shit! This one. This is what you do. You say. You press tab and you say, "What's gonna threaten me?" So Gragas, Yasuo, and then Akali. Right. So what do you say? Okay, you stay away from Akali, and then my QSS flash is ready for Yasuo Gragas. That's it. And then if you can hit someone and none of these conditions apply, you're good to go. But if you can hit someone and they're going to kill you, don't hit someone, right? Okay. You want to you make yourself safe. So uh, that's kind of okay. the that's kind of the, the big idea. 
I would say, um, for what you should work on is okay. making sure that you um, are aware of what they're going to do before they do it in a fight. Don't worry about like mat movements or anything like that. Just in a pure fight, what are they going to do? And can I beat it? And if you can't beat it, you stay out of range. If you can beat it, you can hit the closest guy. That's it. It's like a, it's like a flow chart, right? Okay. Do I have counter? Yes. Do your thing and then counter. Do I have counter? No. Okay. Stay away. <laughs> right. You have to wait until they use it or you come up with a counter or something like that. So. And if you don't have a plan, then you shouldn't be you shouldn't be like uh, pressuring. Or, or right. you shouldn't be in a spot where you can get engaged on, right? Yes. If you don't have a plan. Okay. Yes, exactly. If you don't have a plan and they do their thing on you and you die, that's how you know you didn't get better. Is that if, th if that's what you're working on. So the way I did it was, for I, I did it like super extreme. I went to game. I said, I'm not going to hit anyone unless I'm ready. Right. And then for the first few times, it took me like a few seconds before I could hit someone. You know, I had to take a while to figure it out. But now it's like, I look at it and I say, okay, I know what's going on within a second, right? So you need, to, you need to constantly work on it. It's like, this is like a habit you'll take like now and forever and you'll use over and over each game and that's how you'll get better is that you made this habit, you like polish this habit until you're a god at this and then, then you need to work on something else on your gameplay, right? Let's say you do it perfectly. Never get, never get caught out again. Then you need to work on something else like maybe map movements or whatever. But um, okay. this is kind of how you improve is making these long-term ha long habits and making them better and better and better. Like super simple fundamentals, polished over and over again, essentially. So. Okay, excellent. Any questions, by the way, I think? Um, uh, yeah, well, so yeah, for sure. And I, I think you're a little bit over your time. Uh, so I do appreciate all the, the help. Um, I just have a couple of quick ones. Um, do you think that uh, I should, like, I feel like my MMR is shot right now uh, on my main because, like, I just tanked so many losses. So should I just, like, restart my climb on my smurf? Like, would that be easier to get back to, to Diamond 5 and back on the right track again? My view of things is that the winning and the losing, none of that matters. It's all about are you working on improving this one thing and in game, did you work on it? If you did, then you're happy. Doesn't matter okay. what the result is. Doesn't right? even that's, matter. That's how I think. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't okay. even, this is just a practice. This is everything is just training. Right. So okay. the wins and the losses, the wins will come by themselves once you like are a better player, if that makes any sense. There's no way to like cheese out wins and keep them, right? Um, right. You have to get you have to actually cash in the you know, the money. You right, exactly. Have like, yeah, like, exactly. Case in point, let's say one trick one trick champion gets strong. Okay, instantly you got challenger. What happens when the next patch rolls around is champion's bad? Oh, you know. He's back to like Diamond One or Masters or whatever it is, right? So that's that's this is this this is a pure example of you can you can base your wins off something that isn't permanent. And I don't think that's really a good thing. Or you okay. can make yourself a better player overall, and that'll help you in the long run. So, okay, and um, like, just how big of a gap is there between, just for my own knowledge, like between Diamond Five and like Diamond One, like how, like how big of a gap? I'm like, I'm just curious, you know? Because like, <laughs> yeah, Diamond Five and Diamond One is like the difference between like Bronze Five and Diamond Five. Uh, honestly it's like yeah. there's so many and then diamond one to challenger is like the same gap so it's like uh, it's all about consistency right so um a diamond one player will do literally everything better than a diamond five player which is why they're diamond one right and a diamond five player will literally do everything better than a bronze player but they not might they might not do everything better than something who someone who's in, in platinum for example right right um the difference True. is that, you know, across the whole board, they're just, they're just better, which is why everyone, you know, you see the exact same names every year because it's, it's not that easy to get past everyone else at like right. five, diamond three, whatever it is. So okay. there's like a huge difference in my opinion. So like the first time that you hit challenger, how many, like, do you know how many games it actually took you to get that far? Oh like man. Uh, I think I have a picture somewhere, but it was like, uh, I spam games when the season came out and it was like couple hundred i think okay but like i was i did, i wasn't my first season playing I, I had been playing for four years by that point okay so, so like for the four four years total do you think you like breached like a thousand games total 
definitely more than that. I don't know how many okay. games it is, but there's a lot of games. There's okay. a lot of games, and not all of it was productive. Like, um, <laughs> it only it was only productive in the recent years when I figured out, oh, this is how you get better at the game instead of just mindlessly queuing up. Right? Um, you can you maybe might accidentally get better by playing a million games, but uh, you know, I don't think you're gonna break any bad habits or form good ones. So. Right. It's all about the habits that you make. Uh, in the games that you play that will right, get you right, the furthest. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Shoot. Well, I think that's it, man. Um, right. Cool. Um, I'll upload this to YouTube, send you the link. If you do find any other questions you have, feel free to send them my way. Right. And uh, if you have any like short clips you want to send me, like um, team fights or stuff like that, and you're asking what should I have done here, feel free to send those to me too. So, oh, dude. Uh, Thank you, man. That's awesome, man. Well, answer, yeah. No problem. Yeah, I appreciate everything, man. Thanks a lot. Do you go no by, like, problem. Saber? Like, do people... Yeah, do you, you, just, like... <laughs> you can call okay. me whatever you want, dude. Okay. Saber's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks a lot, Saber. Have a great day, man. You too. Good luck in your games. Let me know yeah. uh, Let me know how they're going. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. And, and like, do you typically ever have people, like, do, t like, another, like, a follow-up coaching or... Like... Uh, some people do. Okay. Not all, but... Uh, all right it's it's okay. like relative it's like kind of common not not kind of common but i don't know it, it really depends it's like a lot of times people are still working on the thing i told them to work on so they, they still need to do that until you know the next session if that makes any sense yeah so. yeah yeah right, right 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 that makes sense okay well thanks again right 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 no problem if uh let's say if your prediction is spot on now and then you're still stuck climbing that's when you know you need to work on something else Right. Okay. And keep up that keep up that like oh predicting what they're gonna do thing. So. Okay. Sounds good. <sighs> Sounds good, man. All right, man. Good luck in your games. All right, dude. <laughs> Have a Thanks. good one. Take care. Bye bye.